Hello, and welcome to the Springfield Family Center Kitchen. Today we'll be learning how to freeze and store your favorite winter squashes. Squash is so colorful and full of flavor. It makes a great starchy vegetable addition for a meal. And when you freeze your winter squashes, they can last up to nine months, so you can enjoy your favorite squash-based dishes year-round. Here is a list of kitchen items that you'll need. Cutting board, a knife for chopping, a sharp peeling knife, a regular tablespoon, a fork, a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, a bowl, a pot to boil water with a lid, iodized salt, a colander for draining water, freezer bag, a spoon or ladle, aluminum foil, and a spatula. I like to get all of the needed items together prior to preparing. Once you have all of your items needed, you can start the preparation. To make peeling easier, you can start by cutting off the top and bottom bulbs of the squash using a sharp knife. Then, place the squash in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften up the skin without cooking it through. The next step is to remove any seeds and stringy inner parts of the squash. You can use a spoon to scrape these out. Once the squash is warm, you can use a sharp knife or peeler to gently remove the outer skin. Some squashes, like the butternut squash, are easier to peel, while other squashes, like the buttercup squash, have a harder layer of skin. Once it's cleaned out, cut the squash into small, evenly sized cubes. Next, we're going to focus on the blanching part. You'll need to take your pot and fill it about halfway with water. Once it's got the water, add a couple dashes of salt, then put the pot onto the stove. Place the lid on. You'll turn the burner on to medium or, or medium high heat.
bring the pot of salted water to a gentle boil, just long enough for bubbles to start to rise to the top of the water. Place the pieces of squash into the boiling water for around five minutes. To avoid getting burned or splashing water, you can use a spoon or a ladle for this. Then you'll take the pot off the stove, turn off the burner, and strain the squash pieces from the hot water into the colander. Place the squash in a prepared bowl of ice and cold water to stop the cooking and decrease temperature. Once the squash is cooled down, again, strain it from the cold water. and pat it to dry using a clean towel or paper towels. You can tell it's done when the edges of the squash are soft enough to break away with light pressure from a fork, but it's not cooked all the way through. The next step will be freezing your squash. You're going to place the dried squash cubes on a baking tray, evenly distributed. Make sure that none of the pieces are touching one another. Once you have all the pieces placed, you'll cover the tray in foil or cling wrap. And place it into the freezer overnight. The next morning, once the squash is frozen all the way through, you can remove the pieces from the tray and put them in an airtight container or freezer bag for long-term storage. Make sure to write the variety of squash and the date they were frozen on your bag before you put it back into the freezer. Once frozen, winter squash can last up to nine months stored in the freezer. Once it's been thawed, it cannot be refrozen or it will lose its taste and texture. Squash is a delicious and variable vegetable, so it's great to have as a year-round addition to your meals. We hope that you've enjoyed this vegetable guide and we look forward to seeing you soon to show you how you can use these squashes in some of your favorite dishes.